So probably just like you, over the last few years, I've got a bit older, I've lost a little bit of distance until recently. I went out for the launch of the Paradigm AI Smart Driver and I got a lesson from one of the world's longest hitters. And I managed to get my distance up to PGA Tour level. I'm gonna show you how I do it in a second. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how it works with every single club in your bag, no matter your age, or ability. This is gonna be a really, really fun lesson. I promise you, no matter your age, you are gonna gain some extra yards with this. It's so simple and so effortless. Now, before I get into the video, look, if you're new to the channel, it's one of your first lessons of mine, please consider subscribing. I release videos just like this every single week to try and help you improve your game. Plus, you never have to remember a thing. I'll always put a free download practice guide in the description box below. Oh my God, this is so much fun. So I am absolutely loving this new speed. I can, as you can see, I can't really take a smile off my face, but I had a session with James Tate in LA when I was uh, there for the launch of the Paradigm AI Smoke Driver. And he basically stopped me from making some of the common mistakes that happens to every short hitter. So let's start now by showing you what those are so that you can start adding a few extra yards to your gear. So step number one. So there are three steps to this and you're gonna add yardage with every single step. So step one, really, really simple. You know, what I was doing, which is a real power leak, is, is my shoulders were too level. What this does is it gets me to come down on the golf ball. Any form of too much downward angle will reduce your power. So really simply, I just set my body up a little bit more behind the golf ball so the shoulders were, trail shoulder here is lower than the lead shoulder. Simple way, you can do this, take your trail hand, put it on the back of your leg here, and simply look here, my shoulders are level, slide it down just a little bit above the knee, and then bring it in. You could build that into your routine, right? Nothing more complicated than that. That sets the angle, and now you're ready to look to smash up on that golf ball. Step number two, huge, right? And we're gonna hit a shot in a second to show this. So step number two is, is I become, I've been working really hard on my technique, and what I've done is, is I'd become static. I'd become too much of a statue. And I'd lost the most important thing to, to speed, which is <laughs> I can't even say it. Moment <laughs> Momentum. And, uh, <laughs> and what I'd done is, is I'd stuck my, my body here and I was like this. All James got me to do when, when I was out in LA was to really get some form of trigger into my swing. And that's what I want for you. Now, he said, look, really move into your trail leg. But I liked it simple when I just imagined, almost imagine holding a sandbag. And if I was holding a heavy sandbag and I was gonna to toss it to somebody over here or pass it, can you see what happens when I do this heavy bag and I throw it over here? I'm turning, look, this way into my trail leg, okay? Now, as I do this, I'm throwing the bag over here very naturally and I'm creating this momentum. So that was stage number two. Now, I actually hit some golf balls before we moved on to what I thought was the biggest mistake I was making in step number three. I just worked on this. So get myself set here. I got myself in a great position with my trail shoulder down here. And then I started with intention. I'd, I'd lost that intention to hit the ball a long way. And I'd been so focused on accuracy and control that, I, that had turned me into a statue. So for the first time, I kind of really just let loose and enjoyed myself. And ultimately, that was a case up from here. I just really imagined some flow, look, away from the golf ball. That's all I did. So I started off like that. So I've got some intention now to hit this ball much, much harder. I've got more movement at the start of the swing. I'm not stood like this, going like this. I've got movement and that intention to really add momentum, look, away and turn into this trail leg. I really feel it's into that trail leg and then I'd hit a shot from there. So let's start with that and then I'll show you a great drill he gave me which for me cured my number one fault and probably my number one power leak. Let's have a look at this. Look at this, every single drive I'm hitting over 300 yards. It feels unbelievable and so much fun. Now, when you do this, as I did, when I did this for the first time, it felt really, really out of control. Like, surely I'm gonna hit it everywhere. And the, I actually felt more under control. You see, a lot of people, when they feel like they're moving, you're gonna move into a sway. But look at this, a sway is this, right? When I'm throwing those sandbags, look at what's happening naturally. My body's pivoting here into this trail leg. It's putting pressure into this leg. 
This leg is then allowing me to then power down into the swing, which really brings me back to what I think is the best drill out of all of these things, is once you've got those two things, and those are vital, if you don't have intention to add momentum, if you're too controlled, none of this will work, okay? But James gave me the towel exercise, and I'd been making one major, major fault. So as well as, in a sense, being too much of a statue, I had basically created a swing that was too much rotational. I was turning way too much. I was simply turning around and around. And what that meant was I didn't have any form of force going into the ground. So what I was doing was this. I was turning and turning. James gave me something which was so, so simple. And this, for me, kind of echoed what Pete Cowan um, got me to do with the irons. He says, look, there are three forces that play in a goal swing. You have a rotational force, you have a lateral force, and you have a vertical downward force. The one that should be in charge for you and me should be, always be the one that, in a sense, is vertical. The one that goes up and the one go, go, that goes down. Because, look, if I swing the club up and down, you get the lateral, i.e. this motion, the, this motion, for free, and also look at it, as I fire my trail side down, the rotational side, it happens automatically. But what I'd been doing is I hadn't been listening to beat. I'd been, in a sense, creating a rotation, a very static motion, and I'd been going around and around, and I just lost that momentum to go up and down, where this drill really, really comes in. It's a great drill to feel it. So you just grab a towel, this is just bath, a bath towel. You know, you can use any old towel, really. Just grab it, hold it here, and simply get some of it to throw it here. Now, when I first did this, my towel went down here. Why? Because my hands were very, very low. What I did here was throw it, so it literally landed and finished look over this shoulder. Landed here, look at it, hanging on this shoulder here. If my hands are high, that's where it's gonna be. If my hands are low, it's gonna fall down here. This is a great tool, right? Now, once I've done this, you'll notice something that happened, started to happen naturally. My lead foot was naturally coming off the ground to help me achieve this. You don't have to do this, but I find with a lot of players I'm coaching, senior players, etc. as we get older, it really helps to create some mobility in the hips and the torso, and really helps you to get those hands much, much higher. You might not get them as high as me, that's absolutely fine, but get them as high as you can here. So now, once I'm there, look, now all I did was this. Fire my trail side down, and I'm firing it hard. Now this is huge because when I'm here, look, and I fire down here, I'm firing, look, down. It's a down motion that really opens up my body and gets his trail side firing. Most of the time, if you're losing power, you're slicing the ball, watch the difference. You're not going down, you are go you're going here, look. You're here and going around. As soon as you do that, your hands go this way, you start swinging over the top, you start slicing it, you can't start coming down on it steeply, you'll lose all your speed. So simply grab a towel, throw it over, land it over here, you pause for a little bit, and then fire it down. Really feel here, bang! And I'm firing that trail side, snapping it, look, here, there, <sighs> snapping it down to the golf ball. It's that snap here, of the towel that basically helps you hit up on the ball, it helps to rotate the body through. At no stage am I trying to rotate, that is what kills your swing and your speed. So let's see how far we can hit that and apply that to your driver. So what I'm, what I'm up to, 117 miles an hour, almost 118 miles an hour clubhead speed. The average I think on the PGA Tour is 114, so I'm already, look, three and a half miles faster than a tour player by doing this. So let's see if I can get that speed up to above 180, maybe to close to 120. And all I'm gonna do here is I'm happy with that. That might be enough. I've already built, built up my speed. And all I'm doing here is this. I'm imagining this club working up, and then what I'm gonna do here, look, is I'm here. What I'm not gonna do is rotate. I'm not gonna turn those shoulders around. What I'm gonna do here is from here, I'm gonna fire and snap the towel look down here. As I turn that trail side look down to the golf ball, as I tr turn it down here, this way, my body naturally opens up. That's the secret to hitting up on the ball and ultimately firing those distances, not around and around. Okay, that's gonna kill your speed. So, enough talk. Let's give one of these a bit of a smash. 
That came a little bit out the bottom there, just a little bit out the bottom. But out the bottom of the club lock, still gone down the middle of the fairway, 290 yards. So if I strike that better, okay, that's gonna go well over 300, but that came out of the bottom of the club, right? So off we go again, just get myself set, wind it up, back down and fire that ball. Let's get over, let's see how close we can get to 320. <laughs> that one came a little bit out of the neck, so look, even out of the neck of the golf club, I've still hit 310 yards. Can you imagine what happens when you start hitting it out of the middle? This is just so, so much fun. Now, you might be asking, look, how does this apply to the irons and does it work with the irons? Yes, it does. Ultimately, look, the difference with irons, all I want you to make with the irons is this. With the irons, ultimately, you want to have more level shoulders. We want to strike the ball than the ground. So we want to be with the irons more on top of the ball doing this rather than maybe behind it like we were, as you were doing with the driver. But to generate speed, the same things apply. Look, if you want to get longer, you know, ultimately we don't want this turn and turn. We want ultimately that vertical motion. So when you're winding up, if you, if you want to get those hands a bit higher and you struggle, let that tr uh, lead foot come up to get those hands higher. Then the same principle, don't turn now. Basically, in a sense, fire look from here, look, fire downwards, snap that towel look back down to the golf ball. The difference is, is here you're going to be with, uh, that's where you're going to be driver, but with a slightly level, level shoulders, when you fire it down, we're more on top look of that ball, right? So same difference with the iron. Let's look at this in action. So what I'm doing here, I've got seven iron here, right? So I'm going to level off my shoulders. I'm still going to create the momentum here. My, tra where's that trail heel off, a little lead heel off the ground, should I say, and fire that club down into that golf ball. Let's have a look at this, wind it up, fire it down. Let's have a look at this. Look at that, right? So I've got 96 miles an hour worth of club head speed, 195 yards in total. Basically here, this is way above tour standard. Now, could I reduce that speed and add a bit more control? Absolutely, yeah, and that's what I might do. But having it available to you, this is how you create it, all right? So I hope you love this video. If you did, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with one of your friends. And of course, look, check the video out I did with James live where you see me doing this in LA for the launch of the Paradigm AI Smoke Driver. You're gonna absolutely love it. Cost look, I'll put a free download or practice guide in the description box below. But until next week, have a wonderful golfing week.